What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and today I'm gonna to show you a really great robot vacuum that is under $400 and it has all the features of a iRobot $500 robot vacuum. Now as you can see here, the iRobot Roomba 960 model goes for around $500. This model, which is the BG800 series, goes for under $300. So right here on the outside of the box, it shows that it works using your Wi-Fi and voice control. It has a slim profile, it has a really good suction power for its price, 2200 PA suction power. And it also has three point cleaning system and it maps out your whole house using an app on your iPhone or Android phone. And this is the BG800 Bugatti Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Right. So right here, see what we got. And here's the manual right here. And what's really nice is it has a remote, so you can use your app, or you can use the remote if you don't want to use the app. And you just need three AAA batteries. Let's see if it's included. Yep, it is. And you can schedule your cleanings. You can map out your house and close off rooms that you don't want cleaned. If you have a Christmas tree, you can set up a border and it would avoid going under your Christmas tree and getting tangled in that uh, on that rug. If you guys have Christmas tree rugs like I do. And it's actually really nice looking. Most robot vacuums are just black. This one actually has a design to it. And it's very fancy looking. It looks pretty nice. Uh, this, of course, is the power button right here. But there is also a power switch. So if anything goes wrong where it's not uh, working properly, you could hard reset it by turning it off here and then turning it back on. That should fix any kind of like bugs. And right here is press that and it'll go to the home dock. And right here, spot cleaning, press that and it'll do spot cleaning where it focuses on. Uh, like a three foot radius and goes in circles until everything's cleaned up. So that might be handy. All right here is the sensors. It detects your room and it senses uh, every all the walls and transmits that to your app so it can map out everything on your phone uh, using that app. It also has a bumper. So if, if it bumps into your chairs or whatnot, it'll turn around and go the opposite direction. And of course, this is rubber right here protecting your furniture and right here is a pretty big dustbin and it has a three-stage filter which is pretty nice as well and it's a good size dustbin and it picks up pet hair of course and any kind of debris Cheerios if you've split cereal on the floor or if you have a child that does that uh, so here's another filter on the bottom, as of course. And you want to clean that every time you dump this in a um, trash can. You want to make sure these filters are clean as well, which are really easy to clean and maintain. Uh, what I um, You don't want to wet them under a faucet because that collects bacteria. So what I do is I just take it outside and then kind of like shake it out. Or you can use another vacuum, you know, to clean all this out as well. And right here, and you close that up. It's real easy to do. You just press this button, and it snaps into place. Smart design. I like it a lot. And just want to remove that. Go ahead and remove that as well. And here's a little indicator. It tells you what the um, LED lights mean. They give you spare brushes, which is really nice. Not a lot of robot vacuums do that and they do so this is a plus and here's your cleaning tool so this basically can clean out your dust bin your filters uh, if you're right here your brush gets tangled up in any kind of hair you use the razor and then that'll get that out open that up I'll show you how to maintain this thing so you pull this out and then you go slice across right here, cutting all the pet hair or you know whatever hair you have. 
And of course, I don't know how to put it back in. There we go. Very easy to maintain. Uh, right here is the wheels. You got a little suspension system so it could go up and down on carpet. If you have loose carpet, you want to make sure you use command tape or double sided tape and tape that loose carpet down because any robot vacuum is going to get tangled up in any kind of like cords, charging cords, uh, loose socks, or any kind of loose uh, rugs like a bathroom rug or mat. You want to make sure that is um, tightened down using uh, 3M tape. So I believe this is right here and this one goes right here. <laughs> I don't, am I losing my mind or is it should have two brushes? I set up so many robot vacuums. I never seen one that does not have like two side brushes like that. Like this is where the battery is. So if you need to replace that after three to five years, you just take those screws out and replace the battery. Oh, and here's the border tape. So you basically lay this down in front of the entry ways that you don't want the robot vacuum to enter. You don't need to put these uh, border tapes down anywhere where there's uh, stairs. I believe that there is a sensor. I believe that's it right here. And it senses if it's near a staircase. All right, let's go ahead. And now Doc has actually sensors in it and it transmits to the robot vacuum telling it to go home. So that's how it finds the dock is the sensors right here. So you want to make sure the dock is in an open area where the Bugatti robotic vacuum can find this dock. You don't want to put this between objects. All right, and we actually have a spot right here for the remote. Here's some double-sided tape to tape down the dock. And they give you an extra filter, which is really nice. All right, next you want to go ahead and turn on the robot vacuum. And we're gonna set it up using the app, Bugatti app. Now I did look at the side brushes right here. So it looks like there's only, this side has brushes. So when it does clean, it only cleans on this side near the wall. And right here is the optical flow sensor. So maybe that's why, this is a different design. So it does clean the edges, it just does it on one side. And there is an anti-drop sensor right here. So it does detect your staircase. All right, so I downloaded the Alexa app. So we're gonna connect that to the Alexa later on. And first we have to set it up using the Bugatti app. And this is what it looks like. And let's go ahead and register. All right, so everything's turned on. So we're gonna go ahead and dock it. Oh, it's docking itself looks like. Of course you want to leave it somewhere that the robot vacuum can detect the dock. And you got to use 3M tape or double-sided tape to tape it down. So once you register and let's add the device, let's go ahead and select VG800. So reset the device first, power on the device and confirm that the indicator light is rapidly blinking. And it is. And next, let's go, go ahead and confirm that. Uh, let's go ahead and allow. All right, so the connection failed and the reason why we found out is because we connected to a five gigahertz connection. Now, if your Wi-Fi has two wireless names, one should be five gigahertz and another should be 2.4 gigahertz. You wanna to connect to the 2.4 and the reason why is because that gives you a better range. The five gigahertz is not supported for some reason. All right, so we're gonna turn it off. And it's telling you to turn it off. And then we're gonna, okay. All right, and then press auto button and home at the same time. All right, it's on and then press and hold these two buttons and you hold it down for 30 seconds or three seconds. All right, so hold it down for three seconds until you hear the beep and then release 
and now it's reset and now we can go ahead and continue all right all right so we're doing it again for the third time i guess three times the charm hopefully or three strikes are out <laughs> we'll see all right so we actually got it connected what we did wrong is we weren't standing next to the wireless router so you want to make sure that the phone the robot vacuum is within 10 to 15 feet of the wireless router during setup process. Let's go back in here, click on that. And now ever since that we set it up, the first thing that you're gonna get once you enter the app and click on that model number for that robot vacuum is an upgrade. So this is a firmware upgrade, click on that. And you wanna make sure, anytime you update it, you wanna make sure that you are near the wireless router. Next, to connect to your Echo, open up the Alexa app, click on Skills, search Smart Life app, register, and then click Enable. And then once you register and sign in, and can link that app to the Alexa app. Then you want to discover that device by click on Devices, and then select Discover Devices. Discover devices. Oh, I found it. Ah. All right, so I did find it this time. So set up device and BG800. Ah. So here's the commands right here. Hit done. And let's see if this works. Turn on BG800. Okay. Oh, wow. It works. Turn off BG-800. Okay. Oh, sweet. All right. So, so the remote works really well. And even with the remote, it won't let you go past the edge right there. So with the border tape, what it does is it prevents the robot vacuum entering that room it creates a, a blocked off zone. What I noticed that this is a magnetic tape. So you could actually cut it right here and put it in your inside of your doorway. And we found out that it is magnetic because look at that. It's, it's basically, it's a magnet tape. So if you run out of this, you could just get a magnetic tape roll and that would work that should work just as fine so once you enter the app you click on your model and then it has to map out of course so you have to let the robot vacuum run around your house for it to map of course you could control the robot vacuum using the app works really well Click on more, it tells you different modes. Here's your scheduling. You can add a schedule right here, a time for your cleanings. Right here, it tells you the life of the side brushes, the filter, and the center rotating brush life. So right now it's set to zero, pretty much. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Well, actually, let's hit auto. Click on that. There it is. Look. Take a look at that. It's mapping out the whole house. Oh, it knows. Yeah, it knows not to go in there. That's cool. Not too, not too bad. Did a pretty good job cleaning up. Pretty strong. So we set the suction to strong and it's been running for about 16 minutes on full suction power. So I'm 
I'm supposing if it was on medium suction power, it could run pretty much for about 30 minutes or so, or 32 minutes. But it looks like the battery is almost done. We're gonna let it go until it's either done cleaning or the battery is depleted and see if it makes its way back to the docking time. But on full suction mode, it looks like we get about maybe close to 20 minutes of runtime. It's doing some edge cleaning right now. So it looks like uh, that's what it does last. It cleans the center and then the edges last. It's docking now. It says docking, battery's low. It's done cleaning anyway. So it's gonna find its way back to the dock, it looks like. Let's see, the, the run time is about 20 minutes. All right, it looks like it's charging. If you guys are interested in the Bugatti Robotic Vacuum V800 series, go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. If you guys are interested in more tech videos like this, subscribe, hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos, and share this video to anyone that may be interested in a robotic vacuum for under $500.